So again, we are back here at Milford Town Hall. We're going to continue to be here throughout the evening, bringing you all sorts of information relevant to tonight's all-important vote. So we want to bring in a couple of gentlemen here to, to continue the discussion about this vote tonight. And guys, we'll certainly just, uh, just have you give a, a quick intro for yourselves. Sure. Uh, I'm John Tian. I've been uh, working with uh, Casino Free Milford uh, basically on the uh, Get Out the Vote software, but uh, really the, the whole Get Out the Vote effort. And Steve Treadle, co-chair of Casino Free Milford. So obviously this has been a big issue for you guys that you've been working some long hours for. It's, it, it, it must almost feel maybe like a little bit of, of relief knowing that the, the finish line now is in sight after all the, the hours that you've put in. Uh, we're, we're wondering what we're going to do with all of our time, you know, <laughs> all of our free time. So yeah, it, it has been a long row and, and we're happy that, uh, to see it hitting the finish line here. Actually a lot more than hours. We started this in March. Yeah. You know, we've been pretty much uh, half time on this thing at the, at the uh, 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 benefit or lack of benefit to our jobs. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys have been out on the streets all day long here today. What's sort of the, the sense well, that, yeah. you, that you've gotten out there? I can't read it. I really and truly can't read it, you know. Uh, but what a great turnout, and we're really happy about that because we really wanted the Milford citizens to get out and, and have, their, have their vote. We, we really wanted the citizens to make this decision, and it looks like they are. Uh, they're turning out in record numbers. Um, I was up at the Portuguese Club all day. As of 6 p.m., 51% uh, turnout uh, at the Portuguese Club. Out of the 9,700 voters that are registered in the four precincts that vote up there, um, 4,900 of them had already voted. So uh, it was certainly a 51% turnout bodes well. Uh, by 8 p.m., I'd expect to see a 60% turnout. That's presidential election levels. That's, uh, you know, ordinarily in a townwide election, we see 16% uh, maximum show up. Uh, so this is really just a fantastic turnout. We're really proud of the citizens of Milford. Uh, we think a big turnout bodes well for us. And uh, so, uh, I mean, certainly I, I think, you know, even re regardless of, of where the outcome falls here tonight, I, I think that, that that does seem like it's an important message. It seems like this is, this is something that the Milford residents have taken very seriously. They've taken time to, to really delve deep into this issue. And, and the fact that the, the turnout numbers are what they are right now with still just over a half an hour to go, uh, th this, is, uh, this is a very passionate area that wants to have their voices heard. You bet. And Casino Free Milford started off with a stated mission that our objective in this whole thing was to bring the, uh, the whole picture, all of the information to the citizens of Milford, not just one side. And uh, we are very happy to say that I am so satisfied that we accomplished that mission. And the turnout speaks well as far as that goes. We wanted the citizens to be informed of the risks of having a casino come here, uh, whereas from the other side all they hear is this quote unquote benefit. Uh, and the, there's a, a lot of risk involved as well. Uh, my feeling is that the social costs of a casino far outweigh uh, any monetary benefit or any momentary benefit. Uh, certainly, uh, the, the, the costs of a casino are, apparent, are more apparent on a long-term basis. Well, you see the benefits right away up front, but uh, on a long-term basis, you really see some uh, tremendous costs. And, and I think it would have changed the character of our town forever. Uh, if the casino comes here, uh, I, I hope that the citizens choose the way I wanted them to, but uh, we'll, that remains to be seen. Uh, we'll know that in about, uh, what, 45 minutes. So, yeah, with that, uh, actually more like 36 minutes to go now, is, is there any sort of real uh, final message in, in, in these last few minutes that, that you guys would, uh, would like to get out there? Get out and vote. If you haven't voted, get, get out, out and, and vote. vote. There's still time to vote. Please get out and vote. Well, we thank you guys so much for your time. We appreciate it. Democracy only works when we all participate. <laughs> vote. All right. We appreciate it. Thank right. you again for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, again, just a, a few of the interviews that we hope to bring you throughout the night. And, of course, we will bring you those results as well. We keep inching closer and closer again now about 35 minutes away uh, until we, we achieve that, that final time where the polls close. It's been a long day. The polls have been open since 7 o'clock. We, we've had word throughout the day that there were lines outside of the three polling places uh, up into a half an hour before the polls even opened. There were reports uh, that at 6.30 a.m. people were starting to line up this morning to, to be able to get the vote out, out there. As of 1 o'clock this afternoon, we were hearing roughly uh, a third of the registered voters here in the Milford area had already come out. So again, it, we, we can't speak enough about the turnout that has occurred for this election, even early in the day and certainly here in these final minutes and hours as the, as the post-work rush starts to, to get to those three locations. I'm sure those numbers are going to continue to go up. So it's been remarkable to see, uh, again, just how passionate this voter turnout has been. And so those results will be flying in in just over a half an hour from now. We will bring them to you and we'll continue to bring
bring you other information uh, in, the, in the hours to come as well. But a quick break right here, and we will have more for you in just a few minutes, so stay with us.